Hello, Tamily. It's time for Ask Tamily episode 151. Our guest today is Tanya, and her Instagram name is Kemly Love. So follow her if you aren't already. And we'll get connected with her in a second. We do have some questions planned, but we love when you type questions in the chat. So if you will type your questions in, we'll make sure to screw and ask them. Hello. Hi. You look fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for being interview 151. We're really excited to get to know you, Tanya. I'm excited. Excellent. Are you drinking coffee? So am I. Tea. I'm a tea drinker. Mm. I like tea as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'd like to get started with our favorite question, which is when and how did you start doing the Tracy Anderson method? Okay, so I actually started with um, Meta, with Metamorphosis, and then I continued on to Continuity for the, the whole of second year. I didn't go into the third year. I actually um, found Tracy through Gwyneth Paltrow. Okay. And then I started the Meta journey, and then I kind of stalked Loretta a lot. Um, and she's actually the one who like started to get me to actually post my stuff. I just scrolled back in my feed. I saw that I started actually posting um, mm -hmm. May 11th, 2016 of my yes. continuity journey. Yeah. Okay. So you were posting and part of the IG community and stuff um, before you started streaming. Yes. Yeah. Actually, I started... Um, it was right before that challenge that Tracy put out of uh, Ain't Your Mama, if you remember. Okay, yes. That was actually like the big introduction to the streaming world. And then once I finished year two, I was like, I need to switch over. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how anyone stuck with continuity that long. I give you so much credit. <laughs> like, you have to have so much motivation. Yeah. Alone and just doing the DVDs, like. Right. Yeah. I bought it, but it's, I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I think what I found, um, I, I, I liked my um, my progress I made through it. Mm -hmm. The changes I saw were were immediate. I think it was also because it's designed for your body type. It's mm -hmm. it's more of a transformation than I felt on streaming. But yeah. I feel like once you would go through all of the DVDs, if or now they're digital, if you would go through it all, it would almost be easier to transition into streaming but i mean i couldn't wait <laughs> <laughs> it was too much too exciting yeah well especially in the beginning um so what kind of results did you see like when you first started meta and then as you transitioned through different workouts so i saw meta i so i didn't realize what my body type when i started was i just know i get the spare tire right? Mm -hmm. The lower belly, the love handles, that's where I gain weight. And so I was like, oh, I'm abcentric. So mm -hmm. I actually went and did the two years of abcentric and then started into streaming and then found out through the studio that I'm actually glute centric. Oh. So apparently because I don't have a butt basically. <laughs> um, and after listening to, I had done the performance program mm -hmm. as well. When Tracy first started that, I did okay. that and found out why I wasn't abcentric. But um, I saw the most results, I, I would say, in my back. My okay. the love handles, I feel like, really, really went down. And I noticed, like, I got smaller width-wise. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I didn't notice my pooch necessarily go away, but I feel like that's all in the kitchen. I have to watch what mm -hmm. I eat. And I don't really care enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's the really, really hard realization that I'm like, yes. oh, I can work out seven days a week, but I can't just eat whatever I want. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Abs are made in the kitchen, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody says, and it's so true. Oh, it's so disappointing, though. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, I love. I would love if there was a magic workout that just shed all the fat off of your stomach. But yeah, not. <laughs> Tracy's got to be the closest thing. <laughs> yes, yes, I agree. So, who in the family inspires you? Oh goodness, 
everybody that I follow, <laughs> <laughs> um, Loretta, obviously, um, Emily mm -hmm. Hansen, um, Michelle, Michelle Tam, uh, my family, I've, they've inspired me. I've inspired them to join the community. Ah, and, that's wonderful. My, yeah. My sister, Melissa, and my sister-in-law, Dana. Okay. Um, and then there's others like Aggie. Mm -hmm. um, Caroline used to, Caroline Goglo mm -hmm. used to do Tracy, and she was always a huge inspiration. Yeah. Um, she just branched out on her own, into her own stuff. But um, she was always so perfect in her mm -hmm. form. Um, Kim is amazing yeah. with her form. Love her form. I, it's always like, if I don't know what a move is supposed to look like, I'll just watch her. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Yeah, it's funny how you can, like, pick up something from watching <laughs> someone else. Yes. I used to do that about Loretta. Like, things, yeah. like they made no sense. And then right. somehow, it's like, oh, that's how you do that. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I wasn't putting my leg there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so how do you personally stay motivated to work out regularly? It's funny. I, my mom asks me that all the time. I don't know if I actually have a motivation. It's more of just, I, I'm a creature of habit. I've gotten into the routine. So for me, it's just part of my daily routine. If I don't do it, I feel like a slob. Mm -hmm. So I do make sure I take one day that I take a rest day. Mm -hmm. Um, but other than that, I am a six days a week. I'm usually in a tain. I've actually started doing, um, working out according to my, my cycle. Mm -hmm. So I will, if I, like, I just started my cycle, I will do start or I'll do, um, like intermediate, but then I'll go right back into a tain mm -hmm. and then I'll start adding in cardio. I love cardio. So how often do you do cardio? Um, I would say... Well, after my cycle's over, I would say a good at least three times a week. I try to hit like four. Okay. Um, whether that's a half hour or the fifteen minute cardio, it's I try to get either one of those in. I'll swap out swap out arms for cardio just to get an extra cardio punch. But yeah, I love cardio. Especially now that I have the floors, you know. That's what I was just gonna say. I'm like, I think you have the floors. I do. Yeah. yeah. How it are makes the such floors? a huge difference. Uh, that's amazing. Um, we have a question in the chat, which is, have you seen a difference, um, you know, I guess results wise or whatever, since you started syncing the workout with your cycle? Yes, actually I have. Um, it's crazy. I am, <clears throat> my mood swings aren't as bad. My cravings aren't as bad. And I find that, um, my body almost just appreciates me more. Like it just, I find the flow of my own state of being it's just I don't even I can't even explain it like I my um my cycles used to just be so irregular I never knew when it was coming um and it was when it hit it hurt hard mm -hmm. and since I've started doing it I I I know when it's coming like I know the week of I can see the signs the changes in my body that it's crazy but I do it, I think it, it works it's actually wow it's amazing. the V is the book that I started okay. doing. Okay. Um, and she has like, you eat according to your cycle, you work out according to your cycle. It's, it's amazing. Um, anyone that is working out with a cycle, I recommend it because it's, and she actually has a, um, an Instagram page to okay. follow too. And there's like ways to, when you should drink coffee, when you should drink alcohol, when you should eat more keto, when you should do intermittent mm -hmm. fasting. And it's not the same through the whole cycle, which makes a huge difference. Oh, that's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I have never even like contemplated that. That's definitely something to think about. Yeah, actually, I saw it was um, who actually asked that question. She was the one who introduced me to it, actually. Um, <laughs> And it got me interested in the whole thing in the first place because I always just ate the same way the, the whole month. It never really changed. But according to when you are in your cycle is, is when you are able to burn more calories or when your body is at a resting state. When you first get your cycle, it's, it's supposed to be resting. You're supposed to honor what's happening in your body. And it's you, you eat more keto, but warming foods. Your body wants to be warm and during ovulation your body 
it wants more raw vegan food. Mm -hmm. So I've actually been trying to eat like that and it is making a difference. Right. I'm actually noticing my body, my body weight isn't fluctuating as bad. Oh I'm able God. to actually lose a little bit if I try, but yeah, it's amazing. Um, so Karen asked if you can say again, what's the title of the book and who's the author? In the Flow mm -hmm. by Alyssa Vitti. Cool. That is very interesting. Yeah, it's great. Um, okay, well now I'm like off on a tangent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> learn a little bit more about you and your Tracy journey. So have you ever met Tracy or been to a studio? I have. I've actually been to the 59th Street studio and I met Tracy there. Um, I was, my first time to the studio was, Tracy had done those like, one day vitality days. I don't know if you remember okay. way back when. Um, so I had gone there with uh, my sister-in-law. That was when I first got her introduced to it, Dana. Um, she, we went there and I had it. I mean, I saw Tracy, we did a workout together and she answered questions. And actually I had said that I did um, abcentric the continuity and meta. Mm -hmm. And she looked at me and she goes, well, you're not abcentric. And I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, way to call me out in front of the whole class, Tracy. Um, but so I, um, we just did that one class. She just spoke for a little bit mm -hmm. and then that was it. And then the next time I went by myself, I just, I was supposed to be in New York for a hair class. So I was like, I might as well go to Tracy's studio. And yeah. just, so I just, it was a random trainer. I just went for the, for the class and then I did my hair thing and went back. But a few years ago, the tra the Tamley met up there at the studio, and it was a huge group of us. Actually, my sister-in-law, Dana, was pregnant at the time, mm -hmm. and um, my brother was real concerned that she was going to be in the heat and humidity, so I kept forcing her out the door, um, but she um, that's when we met Tracy, and of course, Tracy loved that my sister-in-law, Dana, was pregnant, because Trace everyone knows Tracy loves pregnant babies, so um, <laughs> yeah, that's when I met her, and it was so funny, because we were sitting at the table and we saw her walk in. We're like, oh, that's Tracy, <laughs> you know, fangirling out. And yeah. then, um, so yeah, we got pictures with her and she was the sweetest, most down to earth person. And it was, she's, it was amazing to meet her in person and actually get to see her. Um, and then she started following me on Instagram and oh, yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> fantastic. How yeah. awesome. To get to meet her like in a random yeah situation random setting yeah That's fantastic yeah I also uh, met Courtney and Lashana at the same time oh yeah. of That's course as exciting as Tracy <laughs> yes yep it was just like the cherry on the top meeting those two mm -hmm. as well they are so wonderful um Sveta would like to know what did she say that you were centric wise like did she just say you're not ab centric or did she yep but... I was sitting so she couldn't really see okay. me and I was you know wearing workout clothes and stuff I wasn't there to like you know show off um but no she just said I was asking about my scoliosis about if there's anything I should do because I thought my my spine is curved and twisted in the same exact spot so instead of the, the knobs of my spine just rotating around, they actually face the left side of my body. Oh. So I just wanted to know, in order to support that, should I do more exercises on one side mm -hmm. than the other to kind of balance it out? Mm -hmm. And she said, unless I've seen x-rays, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Just do my program the way I say. So I have. And I actually started doing Tracy when I was around when I was 30. So that was around 2014 and I now am able to stand up all day without any pain I it's amazing the the yes. changes and the results that I've had from just fine work is phenomenal that is amazing especially yeah. if you're not doing something that's like targeted right because of it, like how you said right yeah so she had just basically said do the reps like I do them and it should be fine she you know, she works on balancing the body. I mean, we all know that. So I had, I, the only way I found out what um, body centric I was, was I took pictures of myself and sent them to the studio and they said that I was glute centric. So oh, just from, on um, 
Yeah, the Tracy Anderson online studio. Account. Yes. Um, so Karen is asking about any concerns with returning to the group classes. She's not loving the solo classes. What do you think about? Oh, I would love to go back to the studio. I love the vibe of the studio, <laughs> especially in the summertime of the Hamptons. I mean, there's really nothing like the Hamptons studio for her. I also noticed I had done the live at the Hamptons studio mm -hmm. that, that first Saturday. I also noticed, which... I I didn't realize until I, I did the class that Tracy moves up and down mm -hmm. in the classroom, whereas in when she's by herself, she's still. Right. Which I find my edge, actually, I just said it recently, the edges of my shoes, I feel like are wearing because we're still. And I'm <laughs> so used to that traveling mm -hmm. that now I've just started doing it on my own because yeah. I, I love, I missed that part of it, her energy <laughs> of, of just moving in the class and turning around and all of that is just it's missing because she's yeah. so low. Well, when um they did the live, I thought that it said somewhere like Tracy will be, you know, occasionally making appearances or something. So maybe they'll do kind of some Hamptons lives like that at least. Maybe. Um, yeah, but I wonder too, like with all of the music issues that, you know, you can't use any music that has any copyright. Yeah. Maybe it's not like, I mean, I guess they could always do studio classes with the music she uses for right. singing, but that would be disappointing. Um, I wonder if that's part of the like strategy. Of course, I have no actual idea. I don't know. I also miss the option of the Spotify with the trainers. Yeah. Yeah. So I was hoping that comes back. Yeah. Just for the, the fact that the music and different arms, although we've got all these elective with the, yeah. the add-on arms and everything, that I just actually did a bunch of those this morning. Oh. And um, they're a killer. They're a 15-minute little killer. But I tried good. the um, the ab and spine one, which I feel like is – NFL conditioning. I was yes. like, this is intense. Yeah. Which ones did you try this morning? Um, I actually did, because I just did start. I just started my cycle yesterday, so I was keeping it low key. Um, I did legs of start. I did the arm conditioning. Okay. I did the ab and spine. And then I did the standing sequence with Olivia. Okay. With that was a killer for the spine for some like she really got those low spine into the butt like lifting of the butt but it wow. was intense for 30 minutes and i mean i just like i mean i loved it but it was, it was hard i didn't That's expect so it to be that difficult it's so exciting that we have all of this new content yeah. have to try it all out and then i mean gosh you could make any like recipe you want for what yes. your workout is yes yep um, what would be your advice to someone who is brand new to the method? Oh, geez. Just do it. Just go for it. I actually talked, um, because I'm a hairdresser, I talk to everybody about it. Because everybody thinks that I'm naturally thin. Uh-huh. Um, I'm like, yeah, because I don't work out six days a week and <laughs> watch what I eat every day of the week. But um, I talk to so many people about how, you know, Tracy's method and everything and they're all like, well, what would I do to get started? I'm like, just do it. Just sign up and just, just mm -hmm. go for it. Just dive in and start with the beginner. And, you know, mm -hmm. if you can advance, advance, but you're going to love it. There's going to, I mean, I used to do so many different workouts and always hated how it bulked me. And I just love how Tracy just gives you that little lean dancer's body, which I've always wanted. So I always just tell them, just, just, just do it. Just dive in and do it. You'll never regret it. That is perfect advice. <laughs> um, have you faced any challenges in doing the method? No. That's no. good. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing that, I guess because I started with Meta, so it started out slow. Mm -hmm. um, and then she builds from there. Mm -hmm. But I would be curious because the end of year two, you start using the ball, the chair, and the hoop. Um, mm -hmm. And I know in year three, they add in the stick and the bands. Mm -hmm. So I'm almost thinking that it would be more like what the the studio members get of their custom mm -hmm. right. workouts. Right. Because they're an hour long and they're, mm -hmm. they're 10 days just like they get. 
So I've been actually contemplating going back and finishing continuity, mm -hmm. but now we got all these bonuses. Yeah. And like, I don't know if I can leave. Right. It's so like <laughs> intriguing. I don't know. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, so Sveta would like to know, and somehow I have a flower appearing on the screen. Um, <laughs> she said, do you recommend doing metamorphosis to learn the proper form or is streaming the way to go? Oh, geez, that's tough because the streaming starting in the beginner class, you have the breakdowns, which tell you exactly mm -hmm. how it is done. The, um, the problem with meta, it is slow and it's, it builds, but there's no breakdown and there's no, so you're constantly pausing the video because you strap on your weights and you have to get your hand weights. There's, and there's no pause in any of it. So you're, I feel like I was constantly pausing the screen just to mm -hmm. try to catch up, but, um, it did get, it did build, I think each move each week built upon itself. So it, it was I felt like it was a better growth for me, but in order to get form, it was sometimes it was difficult to see because you weren't, there's no, there's no breakdown to say, Oh yeah, that's an attitude or that's straight back or cross diagonal. You know, yeah. so that was hard just because there was no, there was no breakdown of where to put your body. Yeah. I think too, like sometimes you couldn't really tell what the angles were, yeah. although I don't feel like, I don't know, my brain was developed enough about this workout in meta to pay attention to angles. Like I never thought about what right. like, what was facing. But the camera would like move around because they wanted to try to, you know, be artistic or whatever. Yeah. And now you can see her whole body the whole time. And I think you you do have kind of a better vantage point. Yeah. But there's definitely positives to both. Right. It's yeah. The I also found with, um, well, they, I know in, um, well, Meta was all Tracy and then it switched over to Stacy and mm -hmm. Maria, but, and they switched back and forth, but it was also hard because it was viewed from the front. Mm -hmm. Whereas I was always used to viewing from behind mm -hmm. for really anything and tracking is easier mm -hmm. from behind. So Meta being that, I, I mean, that's all I knew. So once I strip switched over to streaming, it was all behind. It clicked. Mm -hmm. Whereas okay. in, it was constantly like, oh, is that, am I doing this with my right arm? I had to like almost put a mirror image of them to mm -hmm. try to get it in my brain of which way it was going. Mm -hmm. So I think I got a little more mental exercise out of that, but <laughs> I wouldn't know which one to recommend. The only way that I, when I'm talking to people about which way to go, it's usually a price point because mm -hmm. Meta's way cheaper. Right. But, right. Yeah. I mean, that's definitely a good way to try it out because a lot right. of you don't want to pay $90 a month for something right. you don't know about. So, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But then afterwards, you'd pay anything because it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> what is something that you have learned from Tracy? In life in general? I don't know. Sure. But in. Um, I think lately, um, she's just been trying to like expand our, you know, our, ourselves, our energy, our, our person into more a conscious collective of the world, not just ourselves, you know, it's not all about you. Um, but it's, I think that's just more what I've learned recently is just mm -hmm. expanding myself into other areas of, of life, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like even in just this switch that she made with the, you know, online studio and the mm -hmm. place where she is, like, it is so kind of, like, serene and about being connected to nature and stuff like that. Like, it yeah. is a, a good calming feeling, although I certainly like the energy of the studio classes, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. What advice have you heard from someone in the Tamily that was helpful to you? Hmm. I don't know. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Just everything. Yeah. Um, what is a move that you used to hate that you now love? Planks. Mm. Any kind of plank. 
I, I think because meta, I was doing abcentric and all of them were planks because mm -hmm. I hated them. They were in every single week and I couldn't get away from them. And then I finally was like managing my energy. Right. And I, it clicked of how to do it, mm -hmm. of how to stay light in your wrists and how to stay holding into your, your core and your spine and lifting out of the ground. And so now I love any kind of plank, starfish plank. And I also, um, love bridge work. Okay. A good bridge. Yeah. And that's probably my most improved move is the bridge. And that definitely indicates like the, I guess, value of the, all of the spine work, like mm -hmm. being able to do that and really right. lift the bridge. That's amazing. Yeah. That is definitely a common hated move, but they do <laughs> get better the more that you practice. It's true. Um, so what do your friends and family think of the method? Um, I think, well, I think a lot of people think I'm crazy because <laughs> I'm all about the Tamlin. Um, but since I've gotten um, so many more people involved in it, I mean, even just people at work that I've talked to about it are now doing it. But um, my family, as far as my sister, who's actually been streaming for a year now, I think she passed her year. Um, oh. She, uh, I think I, it took me a while. She did that Got Your Back Girl challenge. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it, it, it took her a little bit to then jump on. I don't remember how long it was, but she's, she's now doing it. And we're actually meeting all up on Monday at her house to do oh. a workout. So but um, yeah, it's- That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, have you met people from the Tamley in person? I guess you went to a meetup in New York. Right. I've never done anything outside of just that, that one okay. meetup and the one in the beginning, which actually all those girls, which is funny that one, that first time I went, the girls that I met there actually aren't even doing the method anymore. Oh. Um, they were Jen, they were Jen Tamley and Jess, just something okay. um but they're not even on on instagram anymore they, they mm. just got posting all together um but i think it was jen campbell i think was her name okay. anyway um and then that big meetup of everyone in new york when we went but it was it was just amazing to meet people i mean rebecca sets all that up you know mm -hmm. for the new york meetup yeah. she set it all up yeah there was supposed to be one and then the pandemic happened i can't yes we can get back to it like there'll be tamley meetups everywhere <laughs> yes <laughs> that there will um so how does your routine fit into your life with you know kind of the way you said about making your workout just a part of your regular day so i'm a hairdresser so i work i start work at 11 so i mean i have all morning i get up i i wake up around usually 7.30, scroll through Instagram until 8 o'clock, and then get up, walk the dog, 9 o'clock, 8.30, 9 o'clock, I start my workout, and then shower at 10 and out the door by 10.30. Um, so, you know, if I start at 8.30, I can fit in my cardio. If not, then I do it on the weekends. But weekends are time for relaxing in the morning and then starting my workout. But, yeah, I, it's it's – convenient that I start work at 11. You know, I don't have to do the early mornings. I am not a late night workout person. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you girls do it or in the beginning of like 530 in the morning. Right. Never. <laughs> I can't get motivated that early. <laughs> no, that does sound like a really good routine to have. Like, I need to find a job that can start at that time just for my workout. Yeah. Um, movement Tam, I don't know what her first name is, but she's my sister, question. Melissa. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> your sister would like to know what your favorite hobby is. Oh, goodness. My favorite hobby is probably book reading. Um, I have a lot of hobbies. I like woodworking. I like snowboarding. I like crocheting. Um, right now I'm doing a jigsaw puzzle. I can't sit and just watch TV at night. I have to do something. <laughs> yeah. I'm either on my phone or right now I'm watching TV while I do a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, I also love to do, I have a wooden Sudoku board so that I can constantly mm -hmm. be playing Sudoku. Um, fun. Yeah, but I wouldn't say I have a favorite hobby. 
I just like a lot of stuff. Yes, and moving and doing things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely an indication of a uh, Tamar. Yeah. <laughs> Can't sit still for long. Um, tell us a little bit more about what you do and also where you live. Um, so I'm a hairdresser. I don't do, I do hair basically. I don't do any, um, like facials or panicure, Medicare, pedicure. <laughs> I'm licensed to do it all, but, mm -hmm. um, I work in a salon where I, I don't have to do any of that. Um, I do some waxing, but it's mm -hmm. face waxing. Mm -hmm. Um, other than that, I, I live in the Poconos of Pennsylvania. Oh, um, right next to like ski resorts so i am able to go snowboarding whenever i want i live like 13 minutes from the mountain but it also comes with the downside of dealing with tourist traffic mm. which i get stuck in on holiday weekends every oh. week but um i live in a community that everybody has about an acre of, of land and it's all wooded so when you see my backyard and i'm posting all the pictures of baby deer and stuff it's literally my backyard I live that's right fantastic. in the woods. Hmm, that's wonderful. I never in a million years would have guessed that you were in the Poconos. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what is something important to you that you would like to share with the family? Mm, live your best life. I learned that lesson and when my first husband died. It was, I took the time to make sure my house was clean and make sure my chores were all done and mm -hmm. laundry was done. Like it had to be done every week. You know, I had to clean the house every week. And then he died and it was a wake up call of why did I spend all of my time cleaning and doing my daily chores when I could have been spending time with him and enjoying life and going fishing. And mm -hmm. um, so I always just say, live, live every day like it's your last, live your best life and have fun doing it. That is definitely a very important lesson. We can all get super wrapped up in mm -hmm. the, you know, never ending list of to do's or work or, you know, those things. That's totally right. Yep. Um, what is something that you are most proud of uh, professionally or personally? Um, most proud of. Um, professionally, I have done, I got my teacher's license and I, um, so I have apprentices and I've had five apprentices, but only one of them actually made it through the program. Um, not because of me, <laughs> I'm not a bad teacher. Um, it was, you know, pregnancy or they just mm -hmm. didn't feel like they wanted to do it or they moved away or they quit. Um, but one actually made it all the way through and it was like a proud proud mommy moment oh um and personally I would just the fact that I've overcome so much mm -hmm. in such a short amount of time of my life I mean I'm only 36 and I've gone through a lot mm -hmm. yeah that's definitely something to recognize and celebrate yeah um, can you tell us about the tapestry or whatever it is that's behind you? It's beautiful. So I just wanted something to hang on my wall. And there was this, <laughs> it was actually, I think, an Instagram ad that came up. And it was like, um, save the elephants or something. And <laughs> so it's actually like a, a thin, like silky material. Okay. And um, so it's funny when I'm doing some move, it like blows in the wind of my foot moving. <laughs> but um, and it's. There's no other meaning other than it was for save the elephants and it was pretty. <laughs> well, it's definitely pretty. It's noticeable. It like makes the Tam cave. I love it. Yeah. Thanks. I was wondering if there was like really a deep meaning to it. Or I like elephants. I love their nature. I love that they're, you know, they're protectors and mm -hmm. they are just gentle giants. I love mm -hmm. that. So, I mean, yeah. if I was going to hang any ele anything on my wall, it was going to be an elephant, but yeah. Yeah, super smart, too. Yes. Um, what is something that you learned about wellness from someone important to you? From wellness? Um, I would say I've learned basically all of my stuff from my mom as far as taking care of myself and 
um, how to treat my body and how to um, just respect um, what's given to me as far as health and everything. It was just, she's always been more into the natural homeopathic way of healing your body and wellness rather than taking a doctor's approach to things. Mm -hmm. um, your sister said our mom is wonderful. She's the best. She's my best friend. I talk to her every day. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, let me look at another question. I don't think we have any more questions in the chat right now. So type them in if you do have any others i kind of was asking the questions out of order so let me see um who else would you like to see us feature in an ask tamley interview my two sisters of the family <laughs> yeah we can totally um, set that up yes uh dana tam and movement tam and i would love to see um michelle i think it's michelle b tam okay I think we might have asked her, actually. Oh, okay. I just asked her if she had done one, and she said not yet. But okay. yeah, she. I think everyone else that I would want to see, I think I've already has been on. Well, it has been 150 people <laughs> prior to It is crazy. But there's thousands and thousands of us, so we yeah. will certainly keep it going. Um, did you tell us about your first post to Instagram? Yeah, that was my, um, it was continuity days back, I think, in 2016. Okay. I was into my second year by that point. Was it a video or just a picture? It was a video, yeah. People who jump in right away with videos are so <laughs> I had posted a picture of a before and after, I think, of like the, from the beginning of medical morphosis until I, the three months of starting continuity, I, parted, I posted like a of before and after shot but then I started posting um the videos into like into second year and it's looking back at them I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> your form is awful <laughs> but we had no idea <laughs> no clue I think I posted like pictures of weights and shoes for oh, okay. <laughs> before actually jumping into the videos but right. I don't think people realize, like, once you do it just a couple of times, it's really no big deal, and it's yeah. pretty Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's only awkward when you're a hairdresser and people find you, and they're your clients. <laughs> and it's like, I don't have anything about me on this page other than my first name. How did you find me? Yeah. <laughs> um, but those are, those are when it's awkward. It's like, all right, I do your hair, and now you're seeing me move, like, in leggings and a sports bra, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit awkward. Yeah. <laughs> what is the meaning of your Instagram handle? My first um, husband, his name was Justin Kembling. Okay. So when he died, I created an um, email. Mm -hmm. And Kemley, I loved him. So it just made sense for Kemley Love. That was my email. And then I just stuck with it for my Instagram handle. Well, thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> um, what is something that you could do today that you couldn't do before you started the Tracy Anderson method? Stand all day on my feet. I couldn't do it. I ended up being hunched over. Everybody would say, <laughs> when I was at work, they'd say, put the chair up instead of bending over. I'm like, no, I need to relieve the pressure of my spine. I need to bend <laughs> over. Um, I would end up just walking like around hunched over, like bending my spine to, to relieve the pressure of, of it. And wow. Tracy, now I can stand up straight all day and it doesn't bother me. Really? That's amazing. Yeah. Especially because I mean, being a hairdresser and being on your feet like that would yeah. be challenging for anyone, but to also have like the whole situation with your spine that had right. to be crazy. Was, How long were so you a hairdresser hard. before you started the method? Um, so I actually went to tech during high school. So I graduated hmm. high school in 2002 with my cosmetology license. So I've been doing hair since then. So wow, it's been a while that I was doing hair and, and then finally transitioned into um, being able to stand up straight all day. That is amazing. Yeah. That is like, definitely the kind of thing that I mean, I know we talk about TAM results constantly. Right. Yeah. When it's something like that, like, right. 
unbelievable. That yeah. is so amazing. Yeah. It just really shows what you can get from being consistent with the workout. Right. And it doesn't always show on the outside. I mean, yeah. it was so yeah. on the outside that my spine is strengthened, but right. I know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's really, I mean, that's really what it is about is right. overall wellness and health. Right. And I mean, I, I hear Tracy say it all the time of, we're going to be 95 and standing up straight. And yeah, I really hope I am <laughs> still doing her method and still standing up straight. Yep. Amazing. Yeah. Um, what is most important to you to maintain balance in your life? Family and my workouts. I need my family. I don't know what I'd do without any of them. I mean, I need, I need people around me. Um, I am a, I don't even know. I'm just not an independent person. I'm, I need people to, mm -hmm. to build me up and help me with everything in life. Yeah, the connections are definitely important, mm -hmm. especially after last year. So yeah. like if we didn't think they were important before, definitely. Yeah. Yep. If we made it through 2020, for sure. Yeah, exactly. Um, I don't know what this person's name is, but her Instagram name is, I don't know, love in the IR tummy. So her question is, have we covered diet already? I know we kind of mentioned a little bit, but do you want to share what your philosophy is? I, well, yeah, I mean, I eat according to my cycle, right? So um, I use, I live basically the 80-20 lifestyle of, you know, I try to eat really good Monday to Friday, and then I'll give myself like a little cheat meal on the weekends. Um, but I don't do well with grains at all. I, um, I, I, I gain weight with grain. I'm just not, I, I just can't eat them and be happy with the way that I look. Um, so on the weekends, that's when I'll have like a half a cup of rice or I'll have like my mom, I'll have my, whatever my mom makes on a Sunday at lunch is my cheat meal for the day, you know? So I, um. I can't really restrict myself that way, but I eat a lot of salad, um, a lot of veggies. Mm -hmm. um, I have, you know, a meat and a veggie for dinner. I eat eggs for breakfast. Um, and then I do make sourdough bread. So mm. hard to make it and not eat it. So I, um, on my cycle sinking, the week before I get my period, your body craves more of like slow burning carbs. Mm -hmm. That's when I allow myself my, my okay. sack of bagels. Um, other than that, I eat them one week out of the, out of the month, um, <laughs> just because the long fermented process, otherwise I make them and send them to work with my husband because I just need them out of the house or I eat them all. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so our dancing queen, Katie, has a question. She wants to know what your favorite dance is. Oh, so many. I love all of them. Um, I mean, I just really got down Kiki. Um, but I love, um, probably my favorite would be Warrior. I just love all of it, the whole dance. Um, I don't know a lot of the names. I learned mm -hmm. most of I learned most of them on DVD. Okay. I, like that, I like that eight count. I, mm -hmm. I don't learn well with the catalyst. Um, mm -hmm. I need the eight count steps. Okay. I I love counting. I um, even during like reps, I'll count reps. I don't mm -hmm. remember how many I did, but I'll count them. Mm -hmm. um, so when I'm dancing, I'm <laughs> counting the pace because I'll often use my own music too, so that I don't have their music I just I can't I can't get a group with but I will put on my own and then I can keep count with with my own rhythm but um I learned the DVDs and then I did the performance program and I learned a lot okay. of the dances on that and then um but I would say warrior is probably my favorite I don't like when the dances of catapult repeat mm -hmm. you know they'll do like push two times in a row and then they'll do 
in and over and then you know i am not a i i like the latest ones that they've been doing where it's you know like 15 dances in a half hour and they just mash them all together it's amazing crazy i don't know how everyone learns that <laughs> <laughs> so what is your process even like with learning with the dvd would you like pause and try it over again or just do the do as much as you could for however many times you could for some reason when i do dancing i um like i said i do the eight count so in the dvds they were um tracy did of uh, the dance cardio um it was um release your inner unleash your inner pop star <laughs> and then the dance cardio two i learned those they were all eight counts so for me, it was, I just needed the eight counts. As soon as the eight counts were in my head, I got the dance. Mm -hmm. And then she, of course, goes through the dances at the end of the DVD and goes over them and over them. And then doing the um, catapult, it solidifies them. And I can, yeah, I don't know how, I just remember them all. I don't know if I could do one of those dance-offs that they're doing lately, mm -hmm. because I need to watch them. Mm -hmm. I need to watch the dance as it goes. I know it's coming, but I still need to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how the dance-offs, but it's, like, mind-boggling to me. I mean, I love watching it, but... <laughs> to actually, like, survive an entire Catalyst, I don't know. I made a commitment to do it, but I'm, like, I'm not sure that <laughs> it's really going to happen. Oh, because it's, like, oh, these are 15 dances, so... Yeah. You have to learn 15 dances to do it for half an hour. Yeah. Well, I guess I, because I, I didn't like the dances during the meta and continuity because they were like the catalyst. They were like, you were slowly learning it in a dance. And mm -hmm. for me, it was just confusing. Mm -hmm. But then, so then I got the DVDs and that was my cardio. And once I learned them, they were just, they're just there. And now you'll be able to do those dances forever. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> you and Katie. <laughs> um, let me see what else I haven't asked you yet. We have a few more minutes. Do you have a motivational quote you would like to share with the family? I don't have any quotes. Okay, well, we'll go with live your best life that you always There you go. <laughs> um, why is your workout important to you? Oh, it centers me. It gives me balance. It's, um, it gives me life. I just wouldn't be able to make it through a day without moving. I always wanted to work out even in high school, I um, just needed to be pushed. So I joined track because I needed a trainer and I hate running. <laughs> Why I did it, I don't know, but they made you run every day and it was a trainer that forced you to do it. So I did it. <laughs> um, but I knew even way back then that I loved to work out. And then I, you know, out of high school, I did, I did like Insanity and P90X. I've done oh Jillian gosh. Michaels. You know, I've been around and around. Um, but until I found Tracy, I didn't know what I loved about working out until I found Tracy. Mm -hmm. It's not just your body that she's working. She's right. working your mind and your, your soul and everything. And, um, but I, as much as like, I, I see all these other girls that stray away from Tanley and they always come back because there's just something about Tracy. She sure, really yeah. Um, what is your favorite kind of music to work out to? pop music definitely pop music i have um i listen to right now my favorite song is um astronaut in the ocean Can't that is my up. favorite song right now too. oh my gosh it's on repeat all the time it's on every single playlist that i have because i can't get enough of that song. i love it <laughs> songs yeah. with beat drops are just yes yes Yep. I love it. I love it. I, there's like an energy boost that goes yeah. with it every time. Yep. <laughs> um, Karen asked if you have a playlist that you can share. Yeah. I mean, I have, I can post it on my Instagram. Okay. Story. 
Um, I do Amazon um, music. Okay. So I don't know how you share Amazon music playlists unless somebody has Amazon, but I can screenshot and I'll post them to my okay. story after this so everybody knows what, I'm, what my favorite. I've been listening to it for a while because it's got all my favorites on it. Well, if it has Astronaut in the Ocean on it, I need it. It does. <laughs> um, Small Talk Tamily would like to know if you have a particular Tracy Anderson goal um, or anything that you're working on reaching. A goal? No, just trying to get to my skinniest self, right? Um, I, I don't, I don't really have any goals other than just hitting them out every day. Um, there's no like weight that I want to achieve or mm -hmm. anything. I'm pretty much already there. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I've been doing the method for about six years, so I've already reached all of my goals. Um, mm -hmm. now it's just maintaining everything. You know, <laughs> when I first started I thought like there has to be this point where you feel finished and like right. people must go to only working out three days a week. Like there's no way anyone yeah. would want to. And now it's like, well, there's never an ending. Like there's right. not that, yeah. you know, well, when I get to this, then I won't work out as often or right. something. like right. that goes completely away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, other than, I mean, since I found out that I'm glute centric, I've been working on, you know, I was always afraid of working my butt because let's face it, I don't want my jeans to fit any tighter than they do. <laughs> but then I found out through, you know, the performance program when she was going over the centrics, that's when I learned that um, glute centric, I mean, she works your abs and your cores because she's trying to pull everything into your body towards the spine, strengthening the spine to deepen her abs. But, um, once I, once I realized that she's not building a butt, she's lifting a butt so that you actually see one, which is, I'm like, oh, okay, that's what that is. That's why I'm glute centric. So I, um, I have been working on that and I actually have noticed a change doing the, the glute centric add-ons and Courtney crushed it last week. Um, it was a killer. It was a it was a killer last week, um, especially because he used the heavy weights. So, but um, that's another thing, the heavy weights. Mm -hmm. When did they change from two and a half to three? I have no idea. <laughs> I never Mine changed. are still two and a half. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I can't ask and I'm like, I swear to God, they're two and a half. They are not three. They've always been two and a half. And then I just saw the interview that Tracy did and she mentioned two and a half. I'm like, see, they're two and a half. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, they were always two and a half in continuity and then the beginning of streaming and then somewhere along the line they changed to three. Yes. I'm like, I'm not upgrading. I'm just no, kidding. me either. And plus there are like other brands that you buy that are two and a half. Like the ones at Target are two and a half. So that's what I'm using. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so we are reaching the end of our hour with you Tanya which it's been so fun to talk to you and get to know you a little bit more is there anything else you would like to say to the family while you have this audience hmm just do what you love every day don't miss it don't miss out on life's opportunities mm -hmm. take the time and be with the ones you love for as long as you can Absolutely. Definitely an important message. Well, thank you, Tanya, for being interview 151. Thanks. It's thank been you. super fun to talk to you. And you're a dancing inspiration. I might figure out how to learn okay. some dance. I only know one. So we'll Which see. One? New Which one? It's super easy. It's, um, <laughs> I think Zarita did it in like, a, it was probably... I don't know. It's probably not even a catalyst, but it's just called New Dance. Do you know that one? Yes. Yes. It's yeah. Very... And it's funny because the dances were never named when I learned them. So I think that's why I have a hard time remembering which dance it is because they were combinations one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. 
and that's all they ever were in the DVDs. So now people are like, oh, this is Love Stone. Oh, this is In and Over. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wait a minute. No, that was Combination 5. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so learning the names has been a challenge, but I love them all. Yeah, they need to add the names in somewhere. I mean, I know, like, Loretta has a spreadsheet and stuff that needs to be on the online studio. Yeah, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Tanya, for talking to us today. It's been yeah. awesome. Thank you for having me. And this interview is going to go right now onto the Ask Tamily page. I know some people logged in just in the last couple of minutes, so you can go watch the whole thing, and then it'll also be put on YouTube forever and ever. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.